So some urgent news for you today on the 5th of May 2023 for Fire TV Stick and Fire TV Cube and Fire TV owners. There's been a vulnerability found in selected Fire TVs and Sticks. Now, as luck would have it, Amazon have rushed out a security update which blocks these vulnerabilities. Now, the devices that have been affected or we know that have been affected are Insignia TVs with Fire OS versions before 6.2.9.5 and third generation Fire TV sticks with Fire OS versions before 7.6.3.3. But if you own a stick, a cube or a Fire TV, no matter what it is, I would recommend perhaps making sure that your Fire TV device is up to date. And I'm going to show you how you can get it up to date. Let's just do that first. So no matter what device you've got, what you need to do is go back to the home screen like I am here. So press the home button on your remote, then go across to the settings cog just over there on the right and then go down to my Fire TV, middle button, then make sure about is highlighted, middle button, go down to check for updates, middle button. And if there are any updates, these will download and install. If you've got the message, your Fire TV is up to date, then you should be fully patched. But what I would suggest is, is if you do receive any updates, then perhaps once the updates have been installed, highlight check for updates again, and just make sure there are no further updates to be installed and, and press the uh, check for updates a few times just to make sure that there's no other updates. I mean, sometimes what I say to people as well is press and hold the play pause button and the middle button on the remote control just until you get a message saying that your device is restarting or powering off. Let it restart, OK, and then go back and check for more updates, because sometimes you do tend to find that it says it's it's up to date, but after a restart, it can often find more updates. So just uh, just be aware of that. So my Fire Stick is now restarting. Now, the vulnerability was found through Bitdefender's bug bounty program. So one of the Bitdefender users has actually managed to find this vulnerability. Now, if you've got this vulnerability and it's not patched, now, what could it do? I mean, now, basically, it could result in attackers gaining control of your device, which quite frankly, if they can control the device, then well, they can do anything. They can wipe apps. They can perhaps gain information about you from apps. It doesn't bear thinking about it. There's pretty much nothing they can't do once they've gained control of your device. It's possible also with this vulnerability that an attacker could load websites on your device, which could trick you into handing over information. And also, it says that they could register services that are only locally accessible. So they could start installing things onto your device again, which could do untold amounts of things. So best thing to do, as I say, no matter what device you've got, I know that this at the moment is reportedly only affecting Insignia TVs with Fire OS versions before 6.2.9.5 and third generation Fire TV sticks with Fire OS versions before 7.6.3.3. But it's it doesn't matter what device you've got. Now's the time to do this. And I'd say do it regular. Go across to the cog on the right of the screen and then go down to My Fire TV, middle button, and then go into About, go down to Check for Updates, middle button, and just let it check for updates. Do this repeatedly a few times just to make sure there are no updates. Restart your device by pressing and holding the play pause button and the middle button on your remote control. Let it restart and then go back and check for updates just to make sure there's no updates that are hiding in the backgrounds waiting to install after a restart. So there you go. I hope this guide helps. And if it did, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos on my YouTube channel covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. I hope you like this video. And if you did, 
hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then please don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and my website at CWTech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thanks for watching.